friends, today I'm going to read you a story about David. And it says, After Saul returned from pursuing the Philistines, he, told, he was told, David is in the desert of En Gendi. So Saul took 3,000 chosen men from all Israel and set out to look for David and his men near the crags of the wild goats. He came to the sheep pens along the way. A cave was there, and Saul went to relieve himself. David and his men were far back in the cave. The men said, This is the day the Lord spoke of when he said to you, I will give your enemy into your hands for you to deal with as you wish. Then David crept up unnoticed and cut off a corner of Saul's robe. Afterward, David was conscience-stricken for having cut off part of his robe. He said to his men, The Lord forbid that I should do such a thing to my master, the Lord's anointed, or lift my hand against him, for he is the Lord, anointed of the Lord. With these words, David rebuked his men and did not allow them to attack Saul, and Saul left the cave and went his way. Then David went out of the cave and called to Saul, My lord the king. When Saul looked behind him, David bowed down and and with his face to the ground, and said to Saul, Why do you listen when these men say David is bent on harming you? This day you have seen with your own eyes how the Lord has delivered you into my hands in the cave. Some urged me to kill you, but I spared you. I said, I will not lift my hand against my master, because he is the Lord's anointed. See, my father, look at this piece of your robe in my hand. I cut off the corner of your robe, but did not kill you. Now understand and recognize that I am not guilty of wrongdoing or rebellion. I have not wronged you, but you are hunting me down to take my life. May the Lord judge between you and me, and may the Lord avenge the wrongs you have done to me by my hands will not touch you. As the old saying goes, from evildoers come evil deeds, so my hand will not touch you again. So, this story, David has the chance to kill Saul, which isn't a good thing. But he remembers that God chose Saul, even though, and he also chose David. And so, we have to remember that when we want to say mean things or hit our brother or sister, that God chooses them just as much as they chose us. And we have to act with kindness to everybody we meet and to show them the love of God and help them remember that God has chosen them as much as he has chosen each and every one of us. So I hope you have a good day.